Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a weekly reading for air signs. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is like uh, what's coming, perhaps. Who's coming towards you, maybe. You know, whatever. This is a week ahead. March 24th to the 31st for Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. We're just going to see what comes up for Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius for the week ahead. Keep in mind that this is this is like a preview and not every single reading is for you. It's for whoever needs it the most, really. Okay. So, let's see. What do we got for Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius? <laughs> oh, joy. Well, wonderful. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, by the way. Scorpio, Scorpio, decisions, choices, complex decision. Now, the tower is forced change, okay? We have change coming, and it's a forced one. It's universally driven, okay? The universe is um, something you never saw coming. So it's like you're going to have to make a judgment call. You're going to get go through. This is a rude awakening, and this is awakening, so... There's going to be some sort of rude awakening here. Okay, there is. There's going to be a rude awakening that forces you to make some sort of choice. And be careful with your choice because you have options. You have to make a decision based on many different factors. Okay, which one is real? Which one is fake? Which one is going to bring you longevity? Which one is... going to bring you peace so anyway we def right, right off the bat Libra Gemini Aquarius we have a rude awakening here we have a change that is coming all right um, maybe a release I mean this is a cleansing and this is a release so you may need to make a choice as to well you are going to have to make a choice as to what you're going to accept and what you're going to let go of. So get prepared. I'm not trying to scare anybody, but this is what this is. And, um, <laughs> yeah. So that's real nice. Um, it was like this, so we're going to keep it like this. Complex decision. Now, somebody, this is a card of forgiveness. Somebody may coming back, wanting a reconciliation, asking for forgiveness. Choose wisely. Choose wisely. Typically, when a foundation crumbles, if the foundation is cracked, yeah, you have to rebuild. You got to rebuild. So there is an opportunity to rebuild. There always is an opportunity to rebuild a new foundation. So, you know, I feel like you are going to have to be, you're going to be forced to make a decision as to whether you want to release or accept. Now, judgment is a card of karma. Okay. Ooh, you're receiving a a message, and it's a, it's. A, and I think you've been waiting for this message. This is a message of love. So you could be receiving a, a, a message, you know, of emotional support or a message of love. Um, don't be worried. <laughs> Try not to be worried about this, this upheaval that is about to come. Don't worry about it. And I know that you're worried. You may, maybe you've been worried. You've been worried about this breakdown that's coming. Maybe you've seen it coming, you know. Um, oh, King of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, King of Coins, oh, jeez, I'm crow, we get another jeez, I'm crow, uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and then we have you, there we go, we have you, you bitter, angry, upset, uh, you may cut somebody out. You may, and you're going to have to make a choice. I think you're going to have to make a choice between two people. That's what it looks like to me. And I see that there's bitterness and there's anger and there's resent here. Okay. Um, damn it. 
I feel as though you may receive an offer from somebody. You may receive some sort of um, communication, just some loving communication from somebody, and you shut them right down. Maybe that's maybe that's their rude awakening. Maybe you're giving somebody a rude awakening. Maybe, maybe uh, we have somebody here that is really worried about you rejecting them. And that's why they've wasted so much time. Just saying, just saying. I see, I see, I see that we have somebody here that is really worried. Somebody that has been really in a depressive state of mind, and perhaps they want another chance with you. I don't know who this is or who this is for, but that's what I see. I feel as though um, somebody is definitely coming for, towards you with an offer of love. You notice this King of Cups. He doesn't have one cup. He has two. He has two cups. This is two cups. Somebody is coming towards you with love. And I think that you are worried about making the wrong decision. I think that this is a very stressful decision that you have to make. I feel like you are very conflicted over it. I feel like on one hand you want a reconciliation with somebody, but on the other hand you're reluctant to move forward with this person because they didn't offer you love in the past. And you may, maybe, perhaps, you are engaged with another person, and now you don't trust the other one. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, I feel as though you guys are probably going to have to cut one of these people out. I see that um, you are reluctant. You're definitely reluctant to forgive, okay? These are both cards of reluctance with reversed. And this is forgiveness. So I see, and this is bitterness, anger. So somebody may be coming back just for forgiveness. They may want to resolve a situation with you. Maybe they just want to apologize to get closure. Or maybe, maybe they actually want an actual reconciliation with you. You know, they want another chance. And you're just like, I don't know, but I don't trust you. I don't trust you. I don't, I don't trust you. So somebody is going to get a rude awakening. And this is something that you never saw coming. You probably thought this was never going to happen. And all of a sudden it's here. Um, somebody may be deciding that they want to fight for you. They may be deciding that, you know, they want to come home. Um, I feel as though there's been a lot of bickering. There's been a lot of fighting involved in whatever this connection is. You know, maybe maybe somebody, maybe you've been fighting with your partner or you've been fighting with somebody. There's been some disagreements, you know. There's been some criticism. There's been some um, pettiness. And it's like now somebody may be saying, I'm sorry. Can we, can we fix this? I love you. That kind of thing. Um, goodness gracious seven of swords of course that makes sense uh, justice karma we have karma and karma they're both right together too you can basically say they're mirroring each other we have a karmic situation here somebody has received some karma for their deception the seven of swords for their betrayal okay so I feel like, and this is a decision being made, I really feel like Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, you are going to be making a decision as to whether you want to, you know, accept an apology, whether you want to um, finalize this situation once and for all, um, whether you want to um, keep playing this game with this person or not. I feel as though it's time. It's time to make a serious decision in regards to whether you are going to reconcile with somebody or not, whether you are going to give somebody a chance or not. I feel like it's definitely a final decision being made. Something is becoming final. Um, and I think that there's definitely somebody being cut out. Somebody is being cut out of your life. And I think you are making a decision based on the past hurts, based on the past, you know, breakdowns. It's like this person has really caused you a lot of anxiety and stress. And now they're coming with an offer of, of love or an offer of support. And you're just like, what? You know, I don't, what? 
um, I think you, that you are realizing that you know you probably have a better option, or it's the other person. You may be dealing with somebody who now realizes that, um, you know, they they love you. Maybe they put you in a third party situation. Now they they cheated on you, whatever, and now they love you. So you know. I don't know who this is for. Somebody may have been rejected. Somebody may have been rejected by their third party or whoever they cheated with or whoever they went with or whatever. And now they don't want to be alone. Um, I think there's somebody that is is um, coming back around because they just don't want to be alone. So beware, beware. Be careful. Be careful with the decision that you make because all is not as it seems. This is That's the truth. All is not as it seems. I really feel like you have somebody coming forward. It could be a, a water sign or an earth sign by the looks of things. I think it's a water sign or an earth sign that is coming forward with an offer of love. Perhaps they just want to come home. They want their stability back, you know. They want to rebuild the foundation that they let crumble. And I feel like, um, what the fuck? Excuse my language. That's what it is like. I'm sorry. Those words came out for a reason. The light is flickering. Those words I just said, WTF, that's, that's what this is. All of a sudden, this person has seen the light and they want to come back. The light is flickering. That's funny. That and that is the light. And it just stopped flickering. It's not flickering anymore. I hope the camera caught that. That's funny. And that's the light. Somebody has seen the light. Interesting. This is lack of togetherness, lack of working together. Lack of respect. Somebody did not respect another person. And I feel as though you guys may just end up walking away. You may end up walking away because this person... may just want to go gain control of the situation. They may want to take your power, and it feels like you have already taken your power back. And if you, you know, do you want to get back involved in a toxic connection? It's like you've already broken free from this bond. You've already broken free from this toxic connection. I feel like you guys are really, really t standing in your own power, even though there's bitterness and there's resentment. It's like protecting yourself from this demon. So I, I really feel like you guys are walking away from a toxic energy and probably rejecting an offer from somebody. So be prepared for, expect the unexpected, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I think that you are receiving a message, maybe an apology. That page of cups can be apology. And you're, you don't want to hear it. You don't want to have nothing to do with it. I don't know. I don't. Don't bother. I really feel as though you guys are are right in control. You're in control. And you're probably going to send this person packing. That's what it looks like to me. I feel some of you won't. Some of you won't. Um, some of you may have some, some more karma lessons. This is karma. Somebody um, is probably wanting you to give them a chance. And I think that you may turn them down because of their... Past confusion, you know, this person, if you, you're always going to see what's mirroring each other, up above this King of Cups is confusion. This person is an illusionist, which causes a lot of arguments and pettiness in a relationship, and now they want to come back? So I feel like you guys are about to bring uh, justice to a situation, 
Maybe you're going to finally get the closure you need by speaking your cold, hard truth. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And I think that's what's going on here. Very soon you're about to make a very serious decision in regards to whether you want to have a reconciliation with the person that broke you or not. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And that's exactly where you're at. I think you guys are at a point where you're not looking back. One more card for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Here it is. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. I feel as though you guys are... in the process of making a decision to let go of something. I mean, in the process of deciding where you want to go and probably recapturing playfulness in some way. Maybe you're recapturing playfulness maybe in a new direction or maybe even with this person that wants to reconcile. Some of you, there could be a reconcile, there could be a reconciliation here. There could be. It's up to you. It's your choice whether you want it or not. It looks to me as though somebody is coming around with an offer and you may be called or asked to forgive and, 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 and let go of your bitterness. It's up to you. It's up to you. There's an opportunity to probably go back to somebody that really shook up your life. Somebody that really caused major upheaval, anxiety, and depression for you. You know, it's up to you. It's up to you what you want to do. There's an opportunity to come together with somebody that hurt you. That's what it looks like to me. Um, whether you do it or not, I don't. That that choice is yours. Good luck. 